because uh, nothing could slow down Missouri tailback Tony Temple. Tweaked hamstring couldn't do it. Neither could Arkansas. In the 72nd Cotton Bowl Classic, Temple ran for 281 yards to erase the Classic's 54-year-old rushing record and registered four touchdowns to help secure a 38-7 victory. And the exclamation point on his amazing afternoon came on Temple's final carry. Broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage, spun away from another defender, raced 40 yards straight up the field, dove into the end zone for the game's final score, and then came his biggest challenge of the day with his tweaked hamstring getting back to the Missouri bench after his record-setting touchdown run. Exhausted, nursing that aching hamstring, Temple's teammates happily scooped him up with tender, loving care and carried him to the sideline. And the Tigers' victory celebration was well underway. And this afternoon, we celebrate Tony Temple for his amazing record-setting rushing performance in 2008 by inducting him into the Cotton Bowl Classic Hall of Fame. Hello, everyone. I got a lot of MIZ people out here. MIZ. That's what I thought. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm very impressed with a lot of the honorees of just speaking from the heart. Um, like Will, I'm going to have to write things down just to make sure I can take the space and time to truly acknowledge everyone I love and care about. Today, we sit in so much greatness as athletes. It's so easy as coaches and athletes. It's so easy to push to the next milestone, the next record, the next play. Today, I am forever grateful for all these amazing individuals that I sit in the same space of these accomplishments that we have. So before we move on to the next, I just want to take one moment for all of us to sit in just to give another round of applause just for everyone that is here today because it matters, you know. It, please, thank you. All right, I promise to be quick. Um, I like to start off my speech with two parts. Um, and majority of it is with my family, so please bear with me. It takes a village, right? You better believe that that's what the, that was my case for my sports career and my journey. As I acknowledge some of these people that supported me over the years, I hope you guys get opportunity to talk to them too as well. My first um, individuals I love to start off with are the Anselmos. Please raise your hand. I won't let you stand up. Raise your hand. There they are. All right, the Anselmos, um, Ms. Anselmo was my sixth and eighth grade English teacher. She is the one that inspired me. So not only do I have so much pressure to speak well right here, but she inspired me to um, not only start my career at Rockhurst, but she saw what was in me. She saw it at the beginning. I don't know if she knew that the little boy with a baby blue polo shirt and navy blue sacks with those brown penny loafers would end up being family to her. But I appreciate you, and there's never any words that I can express for what you guys have done for me and the love that you have shown me. Um, my senior year at the University of Missouri, um, I, uh, my grandma passed away, so my parents weren't able to come. And they, Mr. Anselmo and Mrs. A, they took my hand, they walked me through, and I'll forever remember that. Mrs. A, thank you for bragging to Mrs. Mr. Anselmo about me because I don't know what I would have done without such a huge cheerleader or influencer in my life that has supported me. He has not only taken you, Mrs. A, but he has traveled all over the world in the city and the nation to be there for me. And you have no idea as a player and an athlete to see some familiar faces and what that means to you. So I thank you for that and I appreciate you. All right, moving on to my next. Mark Beecham. Um, very funny, you're my first therapist. You don't know that. Please raise your hand, Mark Beecham. You're my first therapist. Um, as you know, he was my barber, he's my barber. He cut my hair, but I can't tell you how important that was for me to have those intimate conversations with you, to learn about principles, to learn about morals, to learn about trust, respecting your city. That meant everything to me. You said you wouldn't miss this time for the world. I wouldn't miss inviting you for the world. So thank you so much for being here and I appreciate you. Michael Abenisi, um, my friend um, who has been gone for 25 years. 
I met him through a mutual friend in Mizzou. My friend could never come to one of my games, never see me play in person. But he spoke to me every day before games, practices, after games. So the fumbles, the losses, me not playing well, every athlete knows it's so important to have that cheerleader and that person that can be there for you. Michael, please raise your hand. He was that person for me. He's been there, he's here today, and I appreciate you. All right, I'm gonna jump, jump in. My high school friends, Ben, Hout, Wendy, please raise your hand. My buddy, visit, my buddy witnessed the 2008 January game in Germany. Thank you for your service, I appreciate it. I remember in high school when we both, our senior years, we did not win the state championship and we cried on the phone and we couldn't believe that this was gonna happen in our careers and what is it gonna be? I wanna say thank you so much for being there for me, being my rock, being my boy. Thank you for sharing love with me, with your family. And of course, thank you for being here. All right, Jason Tomlin, please raise your hand. This is my high school buddy. I thank you so much for taking the time to be here. I thank you for influencing me to be the entrepreneur that I am, always pushing me. I thank you for just being a friend and just catching up with me and just wanting to talk to me and not worry about the Tony Temple stuff. I appreciate you, Jason. I'm so glad that you're here. And last but not least, Diana Temple. Please raise your hand, my mother. And Drew, I see you there. There's no words for you, Mom. I love you. I love you. And thank you so much for everything. Sydney Mar Garrett, please, please, Sydney Mar. Um, I would never, ever, ever miss an opportunity to tell you that I love you and I appreciate you. So thank you for being there for me. All right, M I Z. We're here to talk about some football now. So my second family, who I love so much, and you're going to realize why they're family to me. We're going to start off with some of my players and my coaches. Brian Jones, Coach Jones, please raise your hand. Where are you at, Coach Jones? Coach Jones, you could see him because he has a bunch of gray hair, and he was my position coach, my running back coach. You will see him because he had to deal with me through my entire four years. But Coach Jones, I just hope that I continue to um, make you proud. I'm so thankful for you being here today. Um, as you enjoy your retirement and you think about and reflect all the time that you have and all the men that you have developed, I just hope you see me as one of your examples, a Hall of Famer, a good dad, a good person, and I thank you for spending time with me day in and day out for that. Coach Ivy and Dr. Coach Ivy and Coach Ivy and, the, um, and Coach Bird, please raise your hand, my friends. This is very simple. Coach Ivy was my strength coach. And I'll start off with this. Get your mind right. Make healthy deposits in the bank. If you're prepared, you don't have to get ready. Being nervous is normal. It's because you expect to do well. What you taught me and what you continue to teach me about your mindset and your mental health, obviously you see I carry that with me. It's downloaded with me. Thank you so much for always being a mentor. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for still being in my life, even though I don't run a ball. Coach Pinkle, legendary Hall of Fame, Coach Gary Pinkle. Our story starts in a black Escalade in 2003, coming to my house to see where I live and to meet my family. And as today are we celebrating so many um, of our coaches and players, if it is to be, it's up to be. My moment we're, we're celebrating, but I want to highlight you, Coach Pinkle. Coach Pinkle, not, you, you've already mentioned, and I guarantee you there's players right now. If you send Coach Pinkle a text message, if he does not text you back in five minutes, that means he's busy, he's doing a word, he's doing something, he's going to contact you back in that week. He's going to pick up the phone. He's going to answer emails still. Coach Pinkle has GP made, which is a foundation that serves youth and undeveloped kids. He can't get away from helping kids and develop them. And I'm so thankful, but this was my coach. This was the person that developed me as a man and as an individual. And I will forever be grateful for you and what you've done for so many of us, and I appreciate you. All right, let's get into the story of the Hall of Fame, January 1st, 2008. We, um, we take the stage fighting against an amazing Arkansas team. There are some people on this team that you guys might recognize. Chase Daniel, which was, he was going after his Heisman campaign. Jeremy Macklin, 
all purpose in college sports, going after that amazing accomplishment. Martin Rucker, Chase Kaufman, I don't know if it was touchdowns or receptions, but some award they were going for. I take the first quarter, Chase Daniel, we're, we're in play, we're in our first drive. He has a ball sells over one of our wide receivers' heads. He calls up to the top. He says, you know what? Tony's killing him right now, and I couldn't get the ball down. Maybe we should just hand the ball off to him. 281 yards later, four touchdowns. I can't believe what happened that day. I can't believe that we, not only in the 07 team, one of the best teams in the history of Missouri, we truly showed what it meant to be a team, how to stand behind, how to play your position, to be the best when you can. But before I leave and acknowledge that team, there was five individuals that somehow they get swept under the rug. So I'm gonna name you guys out and hopefully you can hear me live because you mean the world to me. Tyler Llewellyn, Ryan Madison, Adam Speaker, Curtis Gregory, Colin Brown. These five individuals are my linemen. They were the success for that amazing team and they cannot go without any recognition of how great they were. And I appreciate you, Hawks. I appreciate you so much. Last but not least, the Cotton Bowl staff. Nancy Mills, Amy Scott, Charlie Fiss. You want to see class? This is the definition of class being here. And I thank you guys so much for everything you've done for my family, getting us here, and this has been such a great experience. And finally, Story Marie, Talia Harper, and Jonas Jackson Temple. You are my pride and joy every day. As you shape your life and choose your path, I always, always remember there's a moment in history you can point back to as a reminder. All things are possible if you believe. I love you and thank you for letting me join this amazing experience. Congrats to all the inductees. Have a great day, I appreciate it.